Hello everybody, um, my name is BitDevUE4 and welcome to another en Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now, I had plenty of suggestions from my last video, but I decided to do this one because it's probably the easiest to do. Oh jeez, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so before I start this episode, I just wanted to say um, that I d there was there's meant to be a third character. Can please delete that. Um, I didn't mean to delete it, but I did. So it's the same project. If you're wondering, same same. So in this episode, what we're going to be doing is if you fall from a height, it's always the same animation just playing, and um, the comment. You know, it it does look really just you know. So we're gonna be kind of changing that up a little bit. So let's get to it. Um, so let's do it. Go in a third person character. Right here. All right, my phone's gone off. Right, let's do this. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna do an event tick. Oh, we already got one. Sorry. Um, so, I'm going to add a sequence. I wouldn't normally use an event tick, but when I find out a different way to do that, I'll show you guys. Um, so sequence, just give it a bit of space. So, we're going to do a line cast by channel. So, we're going to break hit results. Sorry guys if I'm kind of rushing through this. Um, get a minus for here. Just setting everything up. So what you want to do is right click, I mean left click and add a component and choose sphere. And call this line cast start. Now I don't really matter how big you make this I do mine 0.25 um, you probably just lock that as well um, just make sure the hidden in game is ticked so we're gonna set a we're gonna create a new variable and it's gonna be a vector you want to call this um, Uh, distance from player and what we're gonna do right, I've got a little image here sorry not that one okay so we're gonna create yeah okay I think I get it now So create another variable. Sorry about that. Uh, trace length. Sorry, can't spell today. Um, compile and set this to minus one thousand. Now I grab the line cast start or the sphere and put the location at minus one hundred. Um, this puts it like near the feet. So the trace distance from player, set that to minus one hundred. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna get trace length. Get it. We're gonna get world location of the line cast start, and hook the other end up to the start. So, to break down the hit, you want to select n the normal. And we're going to do something similar. You're going to get the minus again. Um, get the minus. On the other side, get world location of line cast start. Yeah. So then, from there, we would drag out a print string. We're going to break down the variable, the vector, sorry, and to string. So 
So now we're going to see how high we are off the ground. Oops, sorry about this. Uh, there we go. By default, we're about 129. And then, as you can see, it goes up as you jump around. And if you go really high in the sky, 2000s kind of thing. So, um, what we're going to do is off here, we're going to do a bridge. Uh, we're gonna get a lower than. Don't ask me why, but this seems to work if you do lower than. We're gonna go lower than around 2000 ish. And if it's true, then we're gonna, um, no, sorry. I I'm gonna do something here as well. I didn't do in the other video. So, on our ragdoll thing, yeah, I'm, oops, come on, um, I'm going to right click, transform this into a function, and we're going to call the function, oh, it's not letting me call anything, oh, there we go. I call it ragdoll. This will just make it easier. So now, stop erroring. Here it is. Here's our line cast. If it's true, all we have to do is say go ragdoll. So now, oh god, I keep spotting myself underneath the map. Uh, let's go up nice and high. And look, he instantly falls. And if I'm just sitting on the ground, I'm not going to fall over. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There, it doesn't really detect objects, like cubes or anything. So you might want to think about that. I, I'll have to figure out a way. I'm sure you guys can also come up with something. So yeah, just r keep in mind it doesn't. Oh, it, it must detect them because it's detecting this. All right. Oh well. Let's just put a nice cube up here. Oh, okay. So. And then we'll, well, it's not quite high enough, but when it's, oh, no, nah, he just falls anyway. So it doesn't detect cubes. So just think about that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.